Alright, what's up y'all? Jay Studies here, back with another video. And um, today I just want to have a nice little uh, talk, no, honestly. Um, I would have propped the, prop the camera up somewhere, but right now I'm at the gym and I don't see anywhere to prop this up. But basically I just got a DM that, um, it was from this kid, in his bio he said he was 15 years old. He was asking me, is steroids worth it, okay? Um, now if you guys know me, um, you might think I'm on steroids or take steroids, but I don't take steroids and it's pretty obvious I don't take steroids. I think I, I, I don't even look like I take steroids in all honesty. And my strength is not there. Like, um, if I took steroids, I'd be able to at least rep out 225 for at least 15 or something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm not on steroids. So I'm, first of all, I'm just confused as to why he asked me that. But it was kind of weird. Um, just like hearing or seeing like a kid. Well, it's not a kid. He's a teenager, but still someone that's so young asking is steroids worth it? And he was asking me like all the different, like what's the type of, best type of steroids, um, how much he be, should be taking and stuff like that. And it was just weird, cause um, at my age of 15, right now I'm 18, when I was 15, um, I, that was nowhere on my mind or brain. I guess because social media is so, um, I don't know, you have access to everything on social media these days. So um, like someone that's 15, if they were 15 in like the 60s or something, they would not be thinking about steroids. But I guess since you have social media, you're surrounded by a whole bunch of different people um, via the internet that could be on steroids or talking about steroids, it kind of becomes normal, I guess. But um, yeah, so it was just weird. And he asked me if steroids worth it. And in my opinion, no, not at all. Um, there are many different horrible side effects to steroids. You've probably heard. Um, it can mess with your lungs, mess with your heart, mess with your even brain. I've um, read about it. It can mess up like like your mental health and stuff like that. Um, steroid abuse. Um, there's different types of steroids, but I'm talking about like, the performance enhancing steroids, like to get stronger or bigger and stuff like that. That's the type of steroids I'm talking about. I'm not talking about like the steroids that they give like little kids when they're sick or something. I don't know. I mean, I don't trust that either. But um, let me take this off. But. Um, Sorry if the camera's moving around a lot. Oh, y'all can see me in the background. Hi. Um, but yeah, what was I talking about? All the side effects of steroids. Um, it's not worth it at all. Um, I personally, it's, it, it, it's just, I don't get why people would want to do it. I guess it's more of like a, um, a cheat. You know how back in the day, like in Nintendo 64 or GameCube, you could use like a cheat code to unlock all the characters instead of playing through the game or story mode to unlock all the characters. I guess that's like a real life equivalent of a cheat code because you could just inject yourself with the steroids and get bigger and stronger faster than you normally would without the steroids. But, um, and even people use steroids to surpass their limits because you know everybody has Excuse me. Everybody has a limit as to where their body can get, um, like a size or whatever. Um, but most people do not even get close to that max or that limit. So some people use it like professional bodybuilders. Um, like you'll see people that's in the Arnold or the Olympia or I said Olympia. Is that what it's called? The Arnold. <laughs> um, but those people, obviously, like Kai Green, once you get like to a certain level in competitive bodybuilding or even powerlifting, I believe, because I don't think they test you for powerlifting. I don't think they do. Um, so once you get to a certain level, you're going to have, to, if you want to win, you're going to have to use performance enhancing drugs like steroids um, just to be able to compete because everybody else is using it. And if you're natural, it's going to be almost impossible to compete with someone who is on steroids. Um, so if you're at that level, then for me personally, it's still not worth it. Even if I got to that level, I still would not use steroids because there's so many different health side effects. It's, it's just horrible. Um, but obviously if, you know, Kai Green or um, any of those big people that are like at the top level of bodybuilding, they have to use that to be able to compete with the rest of everybody else since the rest of everybody else is using steroids. Um, but for a normal, especially a child, not a child, but a person, a kid that's, or a teen that's 15 years old, that should not even be crossing your mind at this point. Especially if it, you're someone that's just starting out, because I looked on his page, he's not that big, he's like a regular, he wasn't big at all, no honesty, all fans or nothing like that. He was just like a regular little kid, or a 15 year old. Um, skinny, didn't look like he played much sports or anything like that. Um, 
yeah. But at that age, that should not be coming across your mind. Just for the fact that, um, well people, let's start, this is a good example, I guess. People say I'm on steroids, they think I'm on steroids. Even if you look at my comments on my transformation video, um, my, my one year transformation video, you see people commenting, oh, this is impossible, you can't do this without steroids and stuff like that. People automatically think just because you grow a certain amount in a certain amount of time that it can't be real, it can't be um, possible. But you have to realize everybody's body reacts different to everything. Like, I'm sure if I was somebody else, like, you're watching this right now. You could probably do the same exact thing I did when I first started up until when I made that video. And you could probably still not look the same as me just because my genetics are probably better. Or you could do it and look bigger than me um, just because of genetics. It's really how your body react, reacts to everything, in all honesty. So um, for you to automatically think that someone is on steroids, I'm, what am I talking about? I'm not here to cancel out all the steroid allegations I mean, because I don't, I don't care. You can say I'm on steroids, because if you say I'm on steroids, that's the biggest compliment I can get, like fitness-wise, because that means, obviously, I look like I'm on steroids, so I must be doing something right. But I've gotten to a pretty good size, um, I think, personally. Um, and I'm not on steroids. I don't understand why someone that's 15 years old who wants to go on steroids to look super, 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 super big, um, super, 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 super muscly and strong. Let's be honest here, right? There's a level, right? Females, we're gonna go from this little point. Females, um, of course, they like when a dude has nice little chest, some arms, some abs, or whatever like that. But there comes a point when you look nasty. <laughs> For lack of better words, you look disgusting. You get to a point where you're too big, you look weird, you look like an alien, you look like a... No offense to all these people that are that big, but it doesn't look good. Females don't like that. Regular people don't like that. Even if you're not trying to impress other people, it just doesn't look cool. It just... And this is all based off my opinion right now. It does not look cool at all. It looks pretty disgusting. Um, I could throw shade at nobody, but... I'm sure you guys on Instagram or YouTube have seen people that look that are that big for no reason. Um, it's, it's just weird. Um, even like Kai Green was talking about, if you watch my reaction video, I made a reaction video on Kai Green, um, how he stopped using steroids. Um, so he was getting smaller and stuff like that because he realized that people don't really want to look like or want to see people that look like. Um, those super super big people, or actually he said that those super super big people, people don't look at them in like admirement, they look at them in like how you would look at someone in a circus, just like a nice little show. So um, being that big is not the wave my guy, it's really not. So as a 15 year old person, this whole video is based off what that kid DM me, you know, honestly. Um, Cause I was, I was just reading, I was like, why? I don't understand. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not, worth it at all. You can get to a good size, a good, no matter what your genetics are, no matter who you are, you can get to a good look. You can get healthy, you can look good without steroids. Once you start using steroids, you can start affecting your health. Guys, your balls will shrink. That is a fact. You don't want your balls to shrink because what's the point of that? <laughs> My brother's laughing at me over there. Where's he at? He's over there somewhere laughing at me. But um, that's not, that is not a vibe, my guy. You know, you do not want your balls to shrink. Cause then what's the point, right? What's the point of, <laughs> what's the point of life, my guy? But um, that plus many different heart diseases that can come up because of steroid abuse, lung diseases, met, like I was saying, mental health. Um, for females too, females use steroids too. That, that really, <sighs> why? I'm confused, why? Maybe you guys would know why. I don't know why a female, it makes there. I was reading um, before something had popped up and it was like um, females that like are, are, are addicted to steroids or use steroids frequently, it makes their voice deeper. So y'all ladies about to be walking around sounding like a freaking grown man talking about, hey, how you doing? No, that's not cool. That's, and plus you're 15 years, where are you gonna get the money for steroids? I don't know how much steroids cost, but I'm pretty sure they're not free. So. This whole video was just me ranting about um, steroid juice, if I think it's worth it. It's definitely not worth it. You can look good without, there are plenty of people who do not use steroids who look great, awesome, fantastic, without use of steroids. Just put in the hard work, just put in the dedication. Cause think about it, if you use steroids, right? Um, of course it'll get you there faster. Um, it'll get you to like where you wanna get faster. 
But then if you don't have the dedication to stay consistent with it, you're gonna lose it all either way. So you're gonna have wasted your money on steroids, you're gonna have risked your health, all to get to a point faster when you'll probably end up straying away from that, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'ma just stop ranting right now. I just had to make this video, I felt like um, it was a, I just had to get it off my chest at this point. Hopefully somebody got something out of this. So all you little kids, well not little kids, I keep saying little kids. We were on the same age. I'm only 18 years old. So all you people that is from zero years old to 100 years old, don't do steroids. It's not worth it. Um, so yeah. I, I, I really just talked for a whole 10 minutes about steroids, which is cool. I guess. Hopefully you guys got something out of it. Hopefully I was able to kind of stray some people away from starting steroids because it's really, you can literally look it up. It's really not good for your health at all. You might look good on the outside, but on the inside, it's just completely destroying your body. But um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, send this video to somebody that you think might be trying to start steroids or might be thinking about starting steroids. I don't know how you would know, but send it to everybody that you know that works out right now just to save them. Um, I could be, um, I was gonna say I could be like a parent figure in their life telling them not to do it like you tell your kid not to do cocaine or something like that. But hey, why would you listen to me? I'm just a little 18 uh, year old that works out sometimes. Um, I'm gonna stop talking right now. Um, make sure you leave a like. If you agree with any of the points or disagree with any of the points, drop a comment, let me know why. Let me know what you d disagree with and let me know why so I could kind of try and see from your perspective, even though you probably will not change my perspective or opinion on it, but I mean, you could try if you want. We could have a nice conversation. We could have a nice little debate in the comment section. So drop that comment if you want to, because I'll be there waiting. That was a little excessive, but um, I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you guys for watching. See y'all later.